It's World Refugee Day and Somalia stands out clearly among the main sources of refugees in the African continent. But this year's celebration has been overshadowed by Kenya's decision to close this camp, the Dab Refugee Camp, the biggest in the world and home to 350,000 Somalis. Somalia's President Hassan Sheikh Mahmoud was here recently to assure Somali refugees that they were not forgotten and there will be no forced repatriation. We make sure that we work with Kenya and the UNHCR to ensure a smooth voluntary repatriation back home in a human way and have access to basic services such as education, health care and also security. This camp here is just a temporary solution. We're slowly overcoming the challenges. According to statistics from the UN Refugee Agency, UNHCR, as many as 65.3 million people across the globe were forced to either turn into refugees or asylum seekers or forced to flee their homes in 2015. In Somalia, 1.1 million people live in camps such as these. Ravaging drought, famine and conflict has forced most of these families to flee their rural homes for Mogadishu. Another staggering one million are refugees outside Somalia, mainly in Kenya and Ethiopia. The conflict in Yemen too has had its toll not only on Somalis, but Yemenis too have found themselves fleeing to Somalia for safety. The United Nations says it's looking into solutions to help these vulnerable families. But at the same time, the situation is improving uh, in Somalia. And for the first time, actually, in a long time, Somalia itself is now hosting refugees from Yemen and is looking at also solutions for the internally displaced persons inside this country. And as well as returning refugees, uh, Somali refugees from Kenya and from Yemen. Despite recent security improvements, Thousands of Somalis each year continue to make the perilous journey overseas. With few opportunities at home, many believe it's worth the risk, an issue authorities here have no quick answers for. Abdul Aziz Bilon, CCTV, Mogadishu, Somalia.